Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we are diving deep into an in-depth analysis of the HQ-9B, the Patriot, and the S-400 missile defense systems to understand their true capabilities and where Iran's evolving defense shield stands when compared to these global giants. These three systems represent the pinnacle of modern surfaced, where missile defense technologies each built by nations that have heavily invested in their military defense networks. Understanding their exterior design, internal systems, performance metrics, safety features, unique selling points, and cost will give us a clear picture of how Iran's defensive capabilities are shaping up in the modern battlefield, and how well they might stand against potential threats in region. The HQ-9B, designed by China, is a long, range surfaced, where missile system inspired by both Russian S-300 designs and Western technologies. Its exterior is designed for mobility and operational flexibility, mounted on an 8x8 transporter erector launcher that can travel across rough terrains and deploy in remote locations with minimal support. The Patriot, on the other hand, is known for its compact yet highly functional exterior setup, developed by Raytheon in the United States. It uses a tractor, trailer system with rapid deployment capabilities, making it easy to reposition during active conflict scenarios. The Russian S-400 stands apart with its heavier and more imposing launcher vehicles designed for maximum firepower. Each S-400 battery can carry multiple missile types on its transporter, erector, launchers, giving it the ability to engage targets at a wide range of altitudes and distances. Its exterior is built for ruggedness and reliability, optimized for quick reloads and extended operations in diverse conditions. Inside the control stations, these systems are equipped with advanced radar and tracking technologies. The HQ-9B integrates modern phaser, Ray radar systems with 360 degree coverage, giving operators a complete view of incoming threats from all directions. It employs a sophisticated command and control interface that allows simultaneous tracking of multiple targets, from aircraft to drones to ballistic missiles. The Patriot has a proven, battle-tested interior setup that focuses on automation and seamless integration with other NATO defense systems. Its radar systems are highly advanced and capable of working in cluttered electronic environments, ensuring accurate engagement of targets. The S-400, however, boasts one of the most complex and capable radar architectures in the world. It can track stealth aircraft, cruise missiles, and even hypersonic targets across several hundred kilometers. Its control room setup is designed to manage multiple tracking channels simultaneously, giving it a significant edge when dealing with saturation attacks. While Iran's locally developed systems like Bavar 373 are modeled on the S-300 and HQ-9 designs, the level of sophistication in interior software and radar performance is still catching up to these global standards. Performance is where these systems truly distinguish themselves. The HQ-9B offers a range of up to 200 kilometers and can engage targets flying at altitudes of up to 30 kilometers. It is versatile enough to handle fast jets, drones, and even media range ballistic missiles, making it a balanced system for countries needing solid defensive coverage without exorbitant costs. The Patriot system, particularly the PSC-3 variant, has a shorter range of around 160 kilometers, but its real strength lies in its exceptional precision and combat track record. It has been deployed in multiple real-world scenarios, from the Gulf War to the recent conflicts in the Middle East, where it successfully intercepted incoming missiles and aircraft. The S-400 remains the most powerful of the three, with a range of up to 400 kilometers, and its ability to launch multiple missile types provides layered defense. 
It can engage targets at extremely high speeds and altitudes, making it one of the few systems capable of countering advanced stealth aircraft and even hypersonic weapons. Iran's air defense systems, while improving, have not yet achieved this level of performance, though the Bavar 373 claims a range of around 300 kilometers, placing it between the HQ-9B and S-4, hundred in terms of specifications. Safety features are critical for any air defense system, as they are designed to operate in high risk environments where the potential for collateral damage is high. The HQ-9B incorporates advanced guidance systems and counter countermeasures to resist electronic jamming and spoofing attempts. It relies on active radar homing and mid-course guidance to improve accuracy and reduce risks to civilian areas. The Patriot system is known for its precision achieved through a combination of radar tracking and hit to kill technology that allows direct impact on incoming missiles minimizing debris and collateral damage the s-400 safety protocols are enhanced by its ability to select the optimal interceptor missile for a given threat engaging targets in multiple stages to ensure they are neutralized far from populated zones Iran's systems have adopted similar measures but remain less battle proven, which means their safety protocols are largely theoretical until tested under real combat conditions. Each system comes with unique selling points that define its appeal. The HQ-9B stands out for its cost effectiveness and its balance of performance, range, and multi-height target engagement. For countries that cannot afford the expensive Patriot or S-400, the HQ-9B offers a viable alternative without significant compromises on quality. The Patriot's main strength lies in its global track record, trusted by NATO allies and deployed in some of the most critical regions worldwide. Its interoperability with other Western systems gives it a huge strategic advantage. The S-400 is often seen as the gold standard of modern missile defense, capable of defending large areas with fewer batteries due to its unmatched range and ability to engage stealth aircraft. Iran's approach has been to develop indigenous systems inspired by both Chinese and Russian technology, creating a hybrid shield that can potentially reduce its dependence on foreign suppliers. However, the technology gap is still noticeable, especially in terms of radar sophistication and the ability to counter fifth-generation fighters. Pricing is another factor that heavily influences procurement decisions. The HQ-9B is considered the most affordable among the three, with estimates suggesting it costs less than half the price of the Patriot system per battery. The Patriot, depending on the configuration and number of interceptors, can cost hundreds of millions of dollars per unit. The S-400 is similarly expensive, with some contracts valued at over a billion dollars for complete systems including missiles, radars, and command centers. This is why only a few countries, such as India and Turkey, have opted for the S-400, while others prefer the Patriot or HQ-9B for budgetary reasons. Iran's domestic systems, while cheaper due to local manufacturing, still lag behind in terms of technology integration, which is why they are investing heavily in upgrades and collaborations with both Russia and China. In conclusion, each of these missile defense systems brings something unique to the table. The HQ-9B offers a balanced combination of range, capability, and affordability, making it suitable for nations seeking modern air defense without breaking the bank. The Patriot excels in precision, reliability, and alliance compatibility, with decades of real-world success proving its value. The S-4 
Hundred remains unmatched in terms of raw range, versatility, and ability to counter stealth and hypersonic threats, solidifying its position as one of the most advanced systems ever built. Iran's defense shield, influenced by both the HQ-9B and Russian technologies like the S-3, Hundred, is improving rapidly but still has room to grow before it can compete with the complete capability of a Patriot or S-400 network. As tensions in the Middle East continue to rise, the evolution of these systems will play a critical role in shaping the balance of power and determining how nations prepare for the challenges of future warfare.